Supercharge your legal vocabulary. Unraveling prefixes and suffixes in patent law. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of intellectual property law vocabulary, specifically focusing on patent law. It's a niche subject, but mastering this can significantly boost your legal English skills and make understanding complex legal documents a lot easier. Let's explore how prefixes and suffixes can totally transform the meaning of words in patent law. In English, we often use prefixes to modify the meaning of a word. Here are some commonly used prefixes in the field of patent law. 1. Un. This prefix signifies the absence or negation of something. For example, unpatented refers to an invention or idea that has not been granted a patent. 2. Pre. This prefix suggests something happening before another event. In legal English, pre-filing refers to the period or actions before a patent application is formally filed. 3. Co. This prefix denotes a partnership or collaboration. Co-inventor, for instance, refers to a person who jointly invented or discovered the subject matter of a patent. Just like prefixes, suffixes add layers of meaning to words. Here are some suffixes you'll frequently encounter in patent law. 1. Ship. This suffix denotes a state or condition. Ownership, in patent law, refers to who holds the rights to the patent. 2. Able. This suffix signifies capability or susceptibility. For instance, patentable refers to an invention that meets the criteria of novelty, non-obviousness, and usefulness, making it eligible to receive a patent. 3. EE. This suffix often denotes the person who is the receiver of an action. In patent law, assignee refers to a person or entity to whom the patent rights are transferred. Now that we understand these prefixes and suffixes, let's take a look at a few sentences. 1. The unpatented invention was later developed by another company. Here, unpatented denotes that the invention had not been granted a patent. 2. During the pre-filing period, they conducted extensive research to ensure their idea was original. Pre-filing suggests this research occurred before the patent application was filed. 3. The co-inventors shared the patent rights for their discovery. Co-inventors suggests a partnership in invention. 4. The ownership of the patent was transferred to a different company. Ownership relates to who holds the rights to the patent. 5. The invention is patentable because it meets all the necessary criteria. Patentable signifies that the invention is capable of receiving a patent. 6. The assignee receives all the rights that were originally held by the assigner. Assignee refers to the person or entity receiving the patent rights. That's it for today, folks. Hopefully, this session has given you a clear understanding of how prefixes and suffixes are used in patent law vocabulary. Remember, understanding these language components can truly supercharge your legal English and help you navigate complex legal documents with ease. Keep practicing and stay curious. Happy learning!